Hi guys, I'm Vicky, thank you for watching. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a nearly full face of makeup from a certain brand. I've done one of these videos before and that was with Bare Minerals and today the products I'm going to be using are from Estee Lauder. Now there's some products from Estee Lauder that I really like and then some that I'm a little bit underwhelmed with so I'm going to explain to you how I feel about those products as I put them on my face. I've got nearly enough for a full face like I said, I've got foundation, I've got eyeshadows, blusher, lipstick and lip liner so I'm nearly there. Now I've already done my primer, I use the Max Factor Smooth Miracle Primer that's in my project pan so I'm now ready to get on with the next step. Alright, hair is back, so let's do foundation then. I have two Estee Lauder foundations to choose from. I've got the original Double Wear foundation. I really like this foundation. This is what I go for when I want to make sure that my foundation stays in place for the entire day. It's medium to full coverage, but it doesn't make your skin look quite cakey and quite heavy. This is quite a good, reliable foundation when I just want something that I know is going to look good and is going to last all day. Double Wear is a foundation that I would wear if I've got a lot of breakouts but I want to make sure that the foundation I'm using can cover them up. So if my skin has quite a few breakouts I tend to go for this foundation because I feel like it provides that coverage that I need, it reduces the redness but then it doesn't cling to the spots as well and highlights them. This is quite a good one for days like that. I've also got Double Wear Light and this provides a light to medium coverage and it provides a nice luminosity to the skin. Now I'm not keen on a dewy finish but the luminosity that this provides is just a sort of lit from within type of look and I really do like the finish on this. This is probably a foundation that I use more in the summer than the winter, it just makes your skin look really radiant. Now I'm going to go for this one today because I don't really have many breakouts so I don't feel the need to go for the normal double wear, I think the light will be quite nice. I don't use a damp sponge when I apply this foundation because this is a little bit more of a lighter coverage to begin with. A damp sponge is only going to shear it out even more so I either use a sponge or my fingers. So it's a little bit runny, it's starting to go down my fingers so that's the consistency of it. And then I'm just going to use a mini Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. So I like to do a combination of brush and fingers, I apply it mostly with a brush but sort of just really push the rest in with my fingers, it helps to warm the product up a little bit more as well. Okay I've done my concealer, I use the Fenty concealer, if I was to have used the normal double wear I would have gone for something a little bit more full of coverage like the Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, you might be able to hear the shower behind me. My dog has just gotten back from a dog walk and she's absolutely covered in mud. I'll see if I can put a picture in, but she's really white and fluffy and the bottom half of her, horizontally, is just all mud. So she's having a shower right now. I've also powdered. I use the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder and then I use the Evan Decay Primer Potion on my eyes. So I'm all ready to get started with the eyeshadow. Now I have a few options to choose from when it comes to eyeshadow. I have four eyeshadow slash eye and face palettes here from Estee Lauder. Now I'm not hugely impressed with the quality of these eyeshadow palettes. I think the colours look really lovely and they blend really nice and they stay on the eyes. But they're not that pigmented so you have to pick up a lot of product and quite often a brush doesn't work so you have to use your fingers. So you can't really get a, a nice intricate eye look it tends to just be a wash of one or two colors on the eyes so it's nothing too special so i do have a few options to choose from i'm not gonna go for this one this is blues and teals they're quite dark quite heavy i have gotten rid of two of the pans because i didn't like the colors i'm not gonna go for that i might use one of them as an eyeliner though so i might come back to that same with this one this purple one it's a little bit too dark for the look i'm trying to go for today but depending on what eyeliner shade I might go for, I might take one of the purples. So I think I'm going to dip into two of the palettes. There's this one here, which is nice shimmery pinks and browns, very soft colours. There's also this one here as well, again, soft pinks, browns, a couple of golds. In case you are wondering about the pans missing, once lockdown started a year ago, wow, a year ago, 
because I had more time in the morning and more time to do my makeup, I would do a full face of makeup every day. And I decided to wear every single piece of makeup that I wore. So when it came to palettes like this, if I didn't like one of the eyeshadows, instead of trying to remember which ones I didn't like, I just depanned them so I didn't forget and then use it again and go, oh, I don't like that. So that's why some of the pans are missing in my eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so for my lid shade, I'm gonna take this palette, which is the Pure Color Envy Iron Cheek Palette Nudes, and I'm gonna go for this one here. It's just a matte ivory, warm ivory stone color. That was a lot of fallout. If you've seen any other videos of mine, you know I don't like fallout. So this one is picking up on the brush. Okay, actually. That's doing all right. That's quite pigmented actually. Maybe these longer palettes are better than the shorter ones. Same palette, I'm gonna take a bit of that dark brown, just a little bit of that and put that through the crease. Same palette, let's take this gold shimmery shade, shimmery shade, and I'm gonna use my finger to apply this. This picks up and applies with my finger so well. I'm really impressed with this long palette. When I've used these Estee Lauder palettes before, the ones that I tend to use are the smaller ones, and those are the ones that I've not been that impressed with, but actually this long one, is working really nicely today. I'm quite impressed. I do want to try the smaller palette though, so I'm just going to take that shimmery dark brown and put that more on the outer corner of my eye, see what the quality of this palette's like. Not as pigmented as the longer palette. What is this palette? This is the Pure Colour Envy Eye and Cheek Palette Glow. Yeah, this isn't performing as well as the longer one it is nice though maybe it is this style of palette that's got the ridge on i'm not sure if you can see but the quality of these ones aren't as good i did actually get rid of one of the other ones i did declutter it so maybe i need to play about with these purples because the other two palettes are actually working quite nicely all right i'm gonna take that matte brown and put that under my eye So from that ridged palette, which is the Pure Colour Envy Sculpting Eyeshadow Palette Night, I am going to take the shade Envious Orchid, which is that dark purple there, and I'm going to use a slanted eyeliner brush and try and do an eyeliner with it. That worked quite nicely as an eyeliner, that dark shade. I'm impressed with that. Right, I'm going to take the white shade from the, keep calling it the long palette, from the nudes palette and just sort of tidy up around the edges. Back to the night palette, I'm going to take that shimmery ivory shade and just put that under the brow bone and in the corners of my eye. Okay, I liked those palettes. That that turned out better than I thought it would be. I don't reach for these palettes that often, and when I have done in the past, I've not been that impressed with them. But I really should reach for them a little bit often because they, they performed better than I was expecting them to. The shower's still on, if you can hear it in the background. But I've just done my eyebrows using the NYX Microbrow and NYX Control Freak, and then I curled my lashes and used the Bare Minerals Strength and Length. So let's do the lips before I finish off the rest of the face. I want to see how the lipstick pairs with the eyes before I think about putting on bronzer and blush and highlight. I have an Estee Lauder lip liner. This is in the shade Nude. I've already used up one of these before and I really like it. For me, this is a lovely nude shade. I compare this with quite a few lipsticks in my collection. It's quite creamy, glides on nicely.
And then for the lipstick, I have this in the shade Dynamic. I've got about five Estee Lauder lipsticks, I think, and I think they are really lovely. Now, they're quite expensive. I think they're like 27 quid, which is a lot of money. But the colour you see in the bullet, this is the colour you're going to get on your lips. They're very creamy, but they don't feel like they're only going to stay on your lips for five minutes or so. Very pigmented, very comfortable. I think, although they are expensive, you probably get what you pay for in this case. That was pinker than I was expecting. So you see, just one swipe and it's really pigmented. Okay, lips done. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bronzer and I'm gonna use my Clarins bronzer that's in my project pan. Right, bronzer done, let's do blusher now. And I'm gonna go back to those eyeshadow palettes that I use to create my eyeshadow look. And there are three blushes to choose from. There's this dark deep pink that's with the blue and teal eyeshadows. I'm not gonna go for that one. I don't think that it will really go with the bronzy look on the eyes. It's probably just a little bit too dark. This one that's in the glow palette is more like a blush topper, so I don't think I'm gonna go for that one. I think I'm gonna go for this blush that's in the Nudes palette. It is a little bit shimmery, so I guess that you could call it a blush topper, but this has more pink to it than this one. So I think I'm gonna go for this one. That is in the Nudes palette. Hopefully this applies as well as the eyeshadows from this palette does. Anything? Okay, so that's the blusher. It's quite shimmery. That's not really what I tend to go for in a blusher. I like a matte, pure color blusher. This is very shimmery. And I probably wouldn't use this as a blush topper anyway because I don't like to do that. If I want shimmer, I go for a highlighter. So I'm not hugely keen on that and it's not really that pigmented either. I had to dip in quite a few times into the pan to pick up enough product. And I've just used a little bit of my Project Pan Pure Highlighter just higher up on my cheekbones. I don't really want to add more shimmer to my face because that blusher was quite shimmery as it is. Okay, so that is my nearly full face of Estee Lauder makeup. What do you guys think? I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see a little bit closer. Right, I've taken down the brightness so it's not as blinding, uh, but that's the eyes, the eyeshadow, and a little bit of eyeliner from one of the other eyeshadows, lipstick and lip liner, and then the blush. What do you think? Okay, so just some thoughts then. I really do like the foundations, both of them. I think they're absolutely brilliant. Yes, they are expensive, but in this case, I think you do get what you pay for. The original, let me turn it around the right way, the original Double Wear foundation is excellent if I want my makeup to stay put all day. If I want a really good amount of coverage, but nothing that's gonna look too cakey and too heavy, this is an excellent one. Estee Lauder Light is brilliant as well. This provides a really decent amount of coverage. I would say it's light to medium, but you can build it up if you want to. It provides a luminous finish instead of a dewy finish. I don't like dewy, but I like the finish with this. And it's really hydrating as well. This is a lovely choice for the summer months, whereas the original Double Wear, I would say, is probably more appropriate for winter. In my personal opinion, you might differ. So the foundations are one of my favorite products from Estee Lauder as are the lipsticks. The lip liner is really nice, but I'm not sure if you could possibly get a cheaper dupe for it. The lipsticks are brilliant. Like I say, I have a few of these. All of them perform incredibly well. Really pigmented, really creamy, last a long time, very high quality lipsticks. I do really, really enjoy the lipsticks from Estee Lauder. And then some products that I'm a little bit confused about. When I've used these before, they haven't performed that well. They've been quite frustrating. And that's the eyeshadow palettes. The pans are very small, so it makes it difficult to get your brush into it. They weren't that pigmented. They blended really nicely on the eyes and they looked really lovely, but just a bit of a frustrating palette to use. In particular, this one, which is the Night palette. However, the one I have on my eyes right now is from the Nudes palette. And although I'm not keen on the blush in here, the eyeshadows, I think, performed really well. I think I've got quite a nice, soft, 
bronzy look on my eyes today. Okay, so that was my nearly full phase of Estee Lauder makeup. Please let me know what you think of the finished look down below. Have you used any Estee Lauder products as well? If you have, please let me know your opinions below. I'd love to know your thoughts about their products. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Have a lovely rest of your day and I'll talk to you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.